Hi students, this is Mrs. Bravo and in today's video I am going to be demonstrating the skill of the staple or suture removal. Okay, so first of all, when you get an order for staples to be removed or sutures to be removed, you first need to confirm that the order is correct. Then you're going to go and talk to your patient. After you have identified your patient, then you're going to explain that procedure. Once you have done that, one very important thing that you need to do is assess for the pain level. If your patient has pain, he, might, he or she might need to be medicated for pain prior to the procedure. Okay, so if you give medication, then you need to wait and then follow up with the pain level and then you proceed with the skill. Okay, so after we have followed up with the pain and then you're going to be gathering your supplies. So what is it that we need? We need a stapler remover, removal kit or a suture removal kit. And inside the kit, there is gauze, there is a skin barrier, there is the stapler removal remover as well. You also need sterile strips. You need a skin barrier. This is alcohol, but you need a skin barrier. You might need gauze if you need to, uh, you probably need to dress the wound afterwards. You might need, you might also need the tape for that. You need normal saline. You need a ruler. You need your gloves. You also need a drape. And um, I'm having my gauzes, okay. And that's about it, okay? Once you have gathered your supplies, then you're going to go to the patient's room again. And um, you are going to perform hand hygiene. You are, you know, you, you, need, a, you need to work in a hard surface area. Obviously, the, the arm is with the patient over there. So you wanna set up your field first. So washed my hands, and then I started setting up my field. I opened the stapler removal, remover. Um, I um, um, have the stereo strips and I have the rest of the stuff. Uh, you can also open up your normal saline in case that I, you know, when I perform my, 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 my wicker. And then I am going to put on my gloves and then go with the patient. So hi, Mr. Ramirez. Um, I am ready now to do the, the, the staple removal staplers staples removal and uh, just so you know guys sometimes patients might have a dressing the the, the staples or sutures could also be open to air depending on the doctor's orders okay so if the patient has a dressing then you're carefully going to remove that dressing doing the 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 pulled and hold the skin method so you're gonna do that sometimes the tape is really really attached to the skin that you might need normal saline to the to to help it loosen up better or you might need a, a adhesive remover swab so to do that. But sometimes we just moisten the, ta the tape with some normal saline and that's good enough, okay? So once you have removed the, the dressing, you're going to perform an assessment of the dressing, okay? You wanna see if there is any drainage in there, what odor does it have, what is the amount, and the color of the drainage as well. And then once you have done that, you're gonna discard the dressing. Okay? And then the next thing that you will do is assess the skin, assess the incision area. You want to see how many staples do we have. You want to see how the edges are. Are they well approximated? Are they not? Uh, and if they're well approximated, you want to see if there's any swelling, redness, pain, erythema, if there is any drainage coming out, or if there's any odor, and also the temperature of, around the skin. Okay? I have my measuring tape here. So I'm measuring the wound without touching it. It's four centimeters. Uh, about half half a centimeter in the width so I got that down and then you also want to see how the skin the surrounding skin is around the incision area okay so once you have done that then my my gloves are no longer clean right because I've already been touching the patient done all of that stuff so now I remove my gloves right remove my gloves perform hand hygiene and then put on a new set of gloves right so Mr. Ramirez, I am going to perform some wound care before, I'm gonna clean the wound before I remove the staples. So he's okay with that. So I am going to, I have my gauze open. So I'm going to have, get the a gauze. And then I'm going to wet the gauze with the normal saline. And this is normal saline, guys. You always wanna check the expiration date on the, on the normal saline. If it has already been opened, this normal saline is only good for 24 hours, no more than that, okay? So 
this is a brand new normal saline. So when that it's brand new, you always want to dip it. You know, you want to dip in the trash can. You want to dip a little bit, and then I am going to use some of it, um, some of this, for to clean my wound. Okay, all right. So I have that, and this is an aseptic procedure. So remember, you guys, when you're cleaning a a wound that has edges. Uh, that it's got that it's a linear wound with the edges approximated you go you do it in the linear so you go you start in the center and then you go you work your way down i'm sorry so you go top to bottom and then you discard right and then you're gonna wet uh, you're gonna get a second piece of gauze and you're gonna wet it and then you're gonna go down and then you toss it and then you get a third one and then you go down and then fourth you discard it and then five and you discard okay so i have done that already and then i can get a new piece of gauze so that i can dry up the wound and you want to dry up the wound on a pat dry motion okay so then you discard and then you get another one and then you dry and then you dry okay so it's from the center to the outside you know like from from the center to the outside when you clean it in the top to bottom uh, manner okay so i have cleaned i have cleaned the wound and i have already performed the 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 skin care now i can go ahead and remove the staples okay so now it's clean and dry so you want to grab the the stapler removal remover very firm firmly with your hands and then you're gonna the the bottom teeth of the stapler remover you're gonna position it right under the staple that you want to remove so once you have done that, you also want to center it. So when you are ready, you let your patient know, and then you're going to press down. And this is going to cause the edges, you know, the edges of the staple to get out, you know, to come out of the skin in this motion. So you may see that, and then you can put that, discard the staple. And then another thing, when you, dis when you remove staples, you're going to remove every other staple. So I'm doing my second. I place it right under, so I press down, and you see how the staple is like that, okay? So, I am doing every other, every other staple, and of course, as you are removing the staples, you want to assess the skin, right? To make sure it's not opening, it's not dehesing or anything, anything that we don't want it to do, and then you will be applying the steri strip um, the steri strip to the skin as you go okay so prior to putting the steri strip you want to clean with the um, the skin barrier and you want to make sure that the skin barrier is not in the incision area it's only going to be in the surround in the outside the surrounding okay only in that surrounding and then you will apply and then you wait for it to dry up a little and then once it's done that then you're going to apply the steri strip and you want you when you put in the steri strip you want to make sure that the steri strip it's really keeping those edges together there's no point that you put the the steri strip and the edges are open that's going to be a bumpy scar so you want to do that and then once you have removed every other staple you know you you um you're gonna put the steri strips in between and then until you're you know completely completely done so right here i can apply another steri strip and then i put some skin barrier and good wait for it to dry up And then I can apply the steri strip. So once you have you're done removing the staples and applying the the steri strips in between, um, then you want to uh, make sure that the patient tolerated the procedure well. You might need to put a dressing back on again just to keep it to keep the area protected. If there is still some drainage or it's a little a little not fresh but it's you know it's it's probably still red or just depending on what the doctor's orders are so most cases after you remove staples or sutures you you leave it open to wear but again that's up 
up to the doctor's orders, okay? So I am going to, once I'm done, I am going to apply a surgical gauze in place. I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm gonna tape, I'm gonna tape it. And you wanna use a tape that is not very aggressive to the skin. So once you have taped the, taped the dressing, you wanna put your initials and date and time in there for the, for the next, for whoever comes next to change the dressing. They would know when was the last time that it was changed. Okay, so basically that's it for the staples. Then you are going to, re um, I'm sorry, first pick up all the, all the trash, count those staples, and then discard them in the Charps container. Okay, so as I do that, um, like I said, you always check on the patient's uh, level of pain to see how well they tolerate it. And uh, you're going to provide a description of the, of the incision afterwards to see um, to, to, to confirm, you know, like the goal was met and the patient tolerated the procedure and, and it's good. Uh, okay, so I, I discarded this. I performed uh, hand hygiene. Okay, so my teaching to my patient now will be um, because we remove staples and we have, um, we remove staples and now he has uh, sterile strips. I have to teach my patient uh, that they can shower. They, they're able to shower now. And again, that's based on the doctor's orders. Uh, most of the time the patient's able to shower and if that is the case, they can let the water run by, not directly to the incision. Um, they, you also want to instruct not to use deodorizers, uh, soaps that have deodorizers or alcohol because that's that can irritate the skin. Or same thing with lotion. You don't want them to apply any lotion that that might irritate the skin. Uh, another thing would be a high protein diet, high vitamin C diet, uh, keeping the skin clean and dry. Do not submerge in underwater uh, for or like the butt butt tap or the pool because that can soften the, the skin. And also it's an entrance, uh, it could be an entrance for infections right there. Uh, what else you want to uh, educate the patient that after they shower, they need to pat dry and just pat dry and dry it up that way, okay? Another thing, do not pull the sterile strips and they will come off on their own or the doctor will remove on the next follow-up appointment. So basically that's the tissue for, for your patient and for sutures, for sutures, I have a couple of sutures here on this arm. If you are removing sutures, it's the same steps, same equipment, only that you need, uh, in this case, you need a um, suture removal kit, okay? You need a suture removal kit, which, um, let me, oh, I left it here. kit it has a pair of the, the pair of scissors and it has the forceps here and you will be using those uh, instead of the stapler removal remover so okay so here we have, and you can see that these are special scissors that we use, and the tweezers. So when you remove the state, the suture, you want to grab the suture with your with your tweezer or the or the forceps. You want to grab it with that, and then you want to kind of like scoop. And these special scissors are going to go under the suture, right under the suture. And once you do that, you're going to cut. You're gonna cut. And then you see how I'm, I'm holding the suture with the forceps here. With, and then you're gonna pull away. You're gonna pull away. And then you remove that. It's the same, the same, the same way. You want to remove every other and then apply the sterile strips in between. Cut and then you pull away. Okay? So normally staples and sutures can be removed seven to 10 days after they have been placed. And it depends, we have to see what the doctor says. Sometimes we have to call the doctor, doctor, these sutures are not ready to come out. 
or the or the staples are not ready and they can extend it up to two weeks okay so you always want to count this as well because um, uh, that way you can verify that all of them were removed uh, appropriately okay so thank you guys